YouTube. Still Saturday. It is now 2.23 in the P of M. I just got back from spending a little time at the outdoor range with my youngest human that I'm responsible for. I have relieved my sister Rita, who's not my sister, from duty. Only for a little while because the uh, Rita will be back, I don't know, 4, 4.30. Her and mom are going to a church singing. So I'll have a few hours more of peace. I know some of you know exactly what I'm what I'm going through here. We talk about it often. Well, not often, but often enough, you know. And it was mentioned that uh, this is a full-time job. which it is, plus, with uh, Rita, and on Tuesdays, our cleaning lady, that gives me a few hours of me time where I can get out and just decompress. Mondays, it lets me get out and go to the park so I can do the Crack That Crap Open video. Tuesday, it lets me go to breakfast. But any other time, unless it's urgent, it's just me. If I, if I have to go somewhere and it's not urgent, it's just like, hey, you know, we're all going, we're all going to go out and have a cold one. Thanks, but can't make it. That's not urgent. Oh. And I spoke about uh, paying for uh, somebody to sit with mom on the 10th and then it's the same lady that my brother and I got when she came home from the hospital and, and made it about a, a week of recovery here at the house before she could you know be okay and me, me and my brother split that cost of 35 bucks an hour he will not split the cost with me if I hire her so I can go to Columbus. Fine and dandy. I can understand that. He also does not split the cost of the weekly cleaning lady who I trust completely because mom follows her everywhere and helps her clean, so she's always got an eye on her. That's a hundred bucks a week. I bet.
The hardest thing to learn to do after Cindy passed away was live on a one income, not the two that we had. When Cindy passed, my government pension, it got a little boost, it got a big boost, not a little boost, it got a big boost because uh, Cindy's social security was fairly good. And if it was just that income, if I didn't have my truck payment, if I didn't have insurance, and a few other cell phone, uh, what else is there? School loan, which is almost paid off. And two credit cards that I was foolish with and used them to go on vacations the first year I was here that I'm paying off. That there takes my government pension to half. Then you take the 400 a month for the cleaning lady who is well worth it. And I don't complain about paying. It lets me go out. We have our groceries delivered because I can't go grocery shopping and be gone that long and leave her alone. Let the obnoxious truck go by here. We, uh, yeah, you know, today. I had a few hours, so I got, I did get to stop long enough to pick up a few items at the grocery store on my way back home. And then there's the rest of the expenses through the month, you know, gas for the truck. Did I mention a truck payment? Truck payment, insurance, yeah. Then there's gas for the truck, which lately I've been getting away with one tank of gas a week, which is 45 bucks. Because I don't go anywhere. If I have to, if I do manage to go up to the little store here, not too far from the house, I take my little Tesla. And I can get up there and get whatever and get back before mom really acts on some of the crazy things that are running around in her mind. So pretty much, uh, I could do better if I went on welfare, really. I could get food stamps. I could, you know. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. If that's, if you fit the need for that program, God bless you, take advantage of it. Because the government's taking advantage of us. So anyways, I'd managed to come up with a little extra money every few months because I don't carry change with me, on me. You know, if I'm out and I buy something for $4.60 and give them, a, give them a five, I take the 40 cents and I put it in a jug. 
And when that jug is full, I cash in all the coins. And that's my extra special money. Like if I want to, say, buy a gun. Take a trip. Like in September. That jug is going to pay for the trip in September. Excuse me. I need these once in a while. So yeah, it's a full-time job. I do make I do make a little money on the side working with a really small gun shop. That's about 25 miles away. But that works. It's not steady work. You know, it's just whenever that's also another reason why I don't have a significant other because nobody's nobody no lady today is going to say yeah come over and sit and we'll watch TV all the time and not go out to dinner not go to a movie which I don't go to movies. I got a thing about dark rooms full of strangers. Just don't do it. And the plan was, you know, and, and the plan is, if I hire this lady for Sunday, or some Saturday the 10th, to go to uh, Columbus, that's my that's my mad money right there. So, and go to Columbus, tank of gas there. Tank of gas will get me there and back. And that's it. Don't plan on buying nothing because you ain't got it. That's one reason why I bought that. Uh, I got that other Tesla for fifty bucks. Because I cleaned it up and I'm gonna flip it. Doggone fly. And I'm gonna flip it. And that was good. that was that's gonna be my my Columbus money. So one day next week I'll be uh I'll be moving that along. Hopefully, I got to check with uh, I got to check with the uh, produce market that I deal with if they're willing to purchase said item. And not put a loan on it because I won't pay it back because I want to get rid of it. So that's it, man. That's my life, you know. You guys, you guys think I'm a happy, funny guy. It's all an act. That's what keeps me from committing suicide. Is acting like that. So you guys that we talk, that you know what I'm doing, what I'm going through, because you're going through it. More power to you, man. I'm here for y'all. Well, this is certainly uh, a depressing conversation, isn't it? Yes, it is. But it's life. You know, when Cindy... Cindy and I first met, she worked for a very large law firm. She was uh, 
the office administrator, which means uh, you have the attorneys, Cindy, everybody else. Cindy was in charge of everybody else, but she was also in charge of taking care of the attorneys with all, whatever they needed. They needed hotel reservations, boom, she made them. They needed airline tickets, boom, she, she got them. She took care of them until, up until, uh, pretty much she was like forced to retire because the, the law firm, uh, the managing partner of the law firm stepped down and the new person that took over was changing directions. So she was gone, she was out. And she had a severance agreement for a year. So for a year she was retired. And then she went back to work for the cricket attorney. But until She went back to work. I'll, I'll just tell you guys, man. She, she was pulling. She was pulling in over a hundred grand a year. I was still driving and working my tail off, and I was pulling in a hundred grand a year after my expenses. We were we were living good. Not like this. And remember, I was on my way to Florida. And I made a quick stop here. And seen what I seen and got together with my brother who he came and seen what he seen. And two and a half, almost three years later, I'm still here. How much longer? Only God knows. Well, just give you a little insight on exactly what it is and what it isn't. You know, my uh, my coin jug. It's almost full, and that means that that's the, that's what's going to take me to Ripley, West Virginia, to meet up with Piper Ken and whoever else wants to stop by. That is set in stone. I've already made my re hotel reservations non-refundable. Didn't want to spend the extra ten bucks. And Rita has confirmed beyond a shadow of a doubt she'll be here for those three days. So anyways, I hope you're well and I hope you're safe. Every day's a school day. If you're not learning, you're being left behind. Uh, I doubt if I'll be around tomorrow, but I will see you Monday morning for Crack That Crap Open. Okay. <sighs> I, need a, I need a nap. But I'll drink more coffee instead. <coughs> I will see y'all next time. Peace. Wake up. <laughs>